Steve Brosman here from Business Online TV. Today we've got an interview on the road. I'm down in Melbourne at one of the biggest events ever, the AFL Breakfast put on by Dick Custerson. Welcome along, Dick. How are you? Good, Steve. How are you? Mate, this, this whole thing, if you can see, I'm going to put some photos sliding in and out. This room is huge. There's going to be 1,200 people here tomorrow morning. They're going to be AFL fans, they're going to be AFL fanatics, and they are going to be AFL legends, and they're all here due to you. They are, and we're very <laughs> excited, mate. We're mate, very excited. This is your 10th anniversary, and you started off with small beginnings in this sort of a breakfast, but let's go back just that little bit further. Mm -hmm. You've got roots in the entertainment industry. Sure have. As a uh, very young boy, uh, my mum and dad played in a band, yep. played an uh, old-time band and they'd go out and do the uh, dances, the old time dances, and I'm one of five kids, and uh, we all went with mum and dad to the dances, yeah. and then from there we all learnt a musical instrument, and we turned into our own little partridge family, <laughs> so, which was great. Did you was, have the bus yeah. and everything? We had the big blue bus, <laughs> yes. Now, yeah. uh, you were told to get a real job because that was never going to sustain you, so you ended up in, uh, in the trades. In the trades, in, in uh, mainly electrical supplies, mm -hmm. yep. uh, but um, mainly servicing trade industry, so we're going you know, to work uh, and supplying industry, uh, electrical contractors and, and different things like that. Met a lot of people through that industry, mate, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then they couldn't keep you away from the entertainment industry, could no, they? No, they couldn't. <laughs> Your next evolution was starting to book events and uh, and book things uh, for people. Pretty, pretty much. So. Uh, Maybe I've, I've seen that there was a niche with the uh, electrical and, yes. and the industry type events and we'd, uh, we'd uh, obviously while I was working with those guys I'd book the odd thing here and there yeah. uh, while still going out and gigging, playing in bands and you know doing that sort of stuff myself, playing a lot of weddings and, and uh, pubs, did a lot of the <laughs> pubs. And then yeah, just slowly I uh, found uh, the odd person here and there that I thought we could promote and book and start a few little shows and from there we went out and... Uh, kicked it along. Well let's go back to the AFL breakfast. Ten years ago you had a great idea of putting on a breakfast. How many people turned up to that breakfast? Well our very first grand final breakfast we had a guest speaker which was Kevin Sheedy. Yep. Uh, we had Peter Hudson who's an AFL legend, Hall mm -hmm. of Fame legend, and Brian Taylor and those guys had, uh, they, they were our brekkie and we really pushed pretty hard to get 250 people. It was pretty hard. 250 people, and you know, you said, "Oh, look, we had to re rearrange the room this week and stick another row of tables in." This <laughs> is absolutely chockers, it is chockers to the rafters of yeah. 1,200 people that are coming tomorrow. So, congratulations yeah. on the evolution of just this breakfast. But it's only Thank one you. of three big events that you run, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. So, as part, uh, so the very first one, the the, mm -hmm. the, the grand final breakfast. We built that up over time yep. uh, with the help and support of uh, guys like Sheeds who gave me a lot of tips along the way, yep. uh, very inspiring. Uh, and then we can touch on this later, but our membership, so we came up with a membership yep. and then that's grown and part of that membership now we do four or five key events, so we have them. You, know, you just recently run a, a small intimate lunch gathering for the Olympics, didn't you? We was sure it 800 did. And it was over 800 <laughs> and we had... Uh, Lauren Burns, uh, the yep. Sydney gold medalist with Taekwondo, yep. and Lauren was just superb. She was our keynote speaker, but had a lot of fun. And when you said about entertainment, we had the guys from uh, Australia's Got Talent, the Nelson Twins. So we've been working with the Nelson Twins for a few years now, and they're the comedians. Look, so. let's touch on that, because you've had them for a while. You also had Sarah DeBono in your stable for a while. Yes. And you've got this happy knack of, of getting, finding, and booking people, and then they became big. Mm. Now, I'm just going to tell you this quick story, is four weeks ago, you booked Job Watson to come. We do, to our function tomorrow, to, to yes. To the function tomorrow. Yes. And this week, he won the Brownlow medal. And I'm actually, he's got the Melbourne Cup, lunch coming up soon I actually yes. want to find out what his tip is for the cup because <laughs> no tips <laughs> <laughs> because everybody you book gradually comes through and they become somebody don't mm. they well yeah I, I don't know why you know we, we uh, well I, I do because you look after people we definitely look after people. I've been working with yeah. you for some time and, and all around the traps I'm hearing is um, your events are more than just events they're experiences Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you, thank you. And the people that you look after, you've got this, I've looked at your list of people that you've got as speakers, as entertainers, and you've virtually got the who's who. 
now and I've been doing my homework again is not only do you make it pleasurable for the entertainers to work with you you make it so easy if you for them to get bookings well we have to make it easy for them because you yeah. want them to perform at their best for yeah the customers yeah <laughs> that's yeah. a great yeah. attitude yeah. Yeah. and you make it easy for the people to book them so you, you're working with both ends of the spectrum and that's why uh, your list of entertainers and speakers is uh, very extensive, but you do provide one of the best. Thank you. Well, we've, we've, as you said, we've built that up over a long period of time, mainly through trust and looking after people. You are right. And then there's not too many people that wouldn't have worked with us that I don't think I could ring and, and say, you know, uh, do you know I'm looking for a speaker in this field uh, and get a good recommendation and then contact that person and very careful who we who we book and send out and yeah you know we're, we're very careful in that process making sure that it's the right fit okay so that's the speaker bureau you run fantastic events or experiences i call them <laughs> Thank uh, you. yourself but you also do that for other people if we do well, we do and, that, and that's a big part of our business and mm. something that we get a lot of fun and satisfaction out of because it can actually be a hard job uh oh, yeah. putting putting no. together a function <laughs> So if you're busy doing your own day-to-day -day business and you, you have to run a, you know, a, a big event or it's a, uh, a celebration for the company or a trade night, trade show, mm -hmm. uh, to find the right mix and to get hold of the right people and the selection of people, we get a lot of satisfaction out of seeing the right guys go and do the job or girls and our client leaves yeah. happy. You know, yeah, yeah, with their customers. So we've, we've got those two, and this is business online TV, and I have saved the business until last, because you also now start looking after all the businesses that you deal with, and you've got some memberships that you look after them and, and provide that. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you do there? What initially, Steve, that grew out of uh, trying to get bums on seats, so to speak, for our events, has really grown into something where we've got a membership, mm -hmm. a business membership, like what you say. And I've found that if you can provide a very simple, easy way of clients being able to take their clients out, mm -hmm. uh, make it easy for them, they all attend to a great event yep. uh, with like-minded people. Um, and then if you make it easy, they all connect, and then they can come to the next one, and then it makes them easy to you know, entertain their client, and in turn, they get business from their client. It's all easy, I'm trying to make it easy. And that, that's what I've heard. Yeah, you probably don't know the, the background. I've been digging away before we got into this. And I've heard that you know, becoming a member of, of uh, a positive move is one of the best moves that they have done. And it's, uh, it's, I guess it comes out of the marketing budget, but it's, it's money well spent. And because it is all about relationship building, and there's a couple of uh, we've been chatting about some things, yeah. some real exciting things that are coming. We can't tell you just yet. No, that is coming no. out, and a positive move is really going to expand to some new areas. And uh, I, I take my hat off to you for what you've done here tomorrow, and what you've done with the businesses, and also you've done for entertainers as well through throughout Australia. So. Thank you so much for coming along and sharing. Now, there will be some details to be able to contact Dickie at, uh, at A Positive Move if you want uh, your event to be the best and most special experience that you could ever provide. Mm -hmm. You want some of the best speakers or entertainers to come along. Or if you are interested in your business being able to tap into some of this stuff, the details are below. And I am really looking forward to tomorrow's breakfast. And I'm gonna come back again for the Melbourne Cup lunch. We're gonna look after you too, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Fantastic. We'll have another fantastic interview for you guys real soon. It may be on the road. Talk to you later. Bye.